Hello viewers, today we're going to be setting up a new computer for the bedroom. Well, not a new computer, but a new old computer for the bedroom. This is going to be somewhat experimental. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this in there or not. This is a Lavino computer. It's a Think Century. And the model number is... is... M91P. These were pretty decent computers. I wish it had a USB 3 ports, but other than that, it's got a pretty standard array of that which you would need. It's got plenty of six USBs, the audio in, audio out, microphone in, power, display port, Vega, and Ethernet. It doesn't have a ton of ports, but it's got all the ones that you would want in most use cases. The only thing I don't like about these machines is that it uses a power brick, which is good and bad. It's good because if the power brick breaks, it's pretty easy to change it out. But it's annoying at the same time because then you end up with a very long cord, and you have to put this brick somewhere under your table, and it's got a stinking light on it, which is on all the time. So, you know, it's good and bad. Of course, you could get a shorter cord and eliminate some of that problem. But, anyways, this is a Oh no, some memory just fell. I hope it doesn't forget things now. This is the AC adapter. It is the 19.5 volts. And it's the 150 watts capacity. Is it made in the China? It's made in the stinking China. Hopefully it still works. Chances are slim, but maybe it'll still work. Anyways, this computer has an i5 processor originally came with the Windows 7 and it's got Lavino Enhanced Experience 2.0, whatever in the world that is. It's Energy Star. Oh, Energy Star. Almost everything that has that logo on it doesn't work that good. Hopefully this is an exception. Alright, now we've got to get this open because we're going to change out the hard drive and we're going to change out the memory. Pull this down and it opens like that. Okay, so here's the inside of the computer. Now, one of the things I do like about these cases a lot is that the airflow is very logical in the sense that the air comes in here, passes over the drive, it's drawn into there and out. The Dell cases, the Optiplex cases, were terrible with the air. Even though I like those computers, the airflow just didn't make any sense. All right, so this is this is the filthy. Oh, I didn't realize this was going to be this filthy. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm going to have to clean this out because you can't use it like that. But anyways, before I do that, we're going to take this memory out. Okay, this is four gigabytes, and I believe that's what it shipped with. Eight is good enough for me. Whoops. Okay, now both of these sticks of RAM have flown on the floor, so who knows if they work anymore. But this is an eight gigabyte stick. I'm gonna throw it in there. And I have another one, which is just sitting in the closet doing nothing, so I'm gonna put this one in there as well. It's both eight gigabyte sticks. Hopefully they still work. And now the hard drive, which is going to be the main point of curiosity, I am putting a Western Digital Velociraptor in here. Never used one of these before, so this will be a new experience trying this thing out. And uh, so I know we're going to get stinking people in the comments box saying, "Dude, that's a that's a laptop hard drive." Look, it's the same size. It's a desktop hard drive. Ugh. This is really easy to change out, so... I have to admit, Lenovo used to make some really good stuff. Their newer stuff is kind of trashy, but... Back in this era... Solid stuff. All right. Let's 
drop that in there and that's it upgrades are complete I'm gonna blow this thing out before I close it up and now we're ready to install the Microsoft Windows 7